So we introduced this new category as a response to feedback from our customers and also due to the proliferation of these kind of new, more flexible strategies. Um, while our old multi-sector categories are extremely useful um, for comparing static strategic asset allocation funds, we feel that introducing our new category, multi-sector flexible, will be more useful for investors to distinguish between the newer, more flexible kind of funds and the older static category. So we've got three main criteria for placing a fund into our new category. One of the most important is that first, it has to invest across multiple asset classes such as equities and fixed income, but it must also have the ability and we must expect it to change its asset allocation significantly over time. And finally, its mandate needs to be mostly long only and with a limited allocation to alternative assets. Uh, other features that they may have would be a target uh, return of CPI plus five, for example, or a focus on drawdown protection. The first thing investors should note is that it's a very heterogeneous category with some funds having low target returns all the way up to inflation plus 6% which means the potential outcomes can vary very significantly. One thing that it is useful for, however, is to specifically find a flexible fund rather than uh, a static asset allocation fund. And other useful features are that we'll be able to compare like-for-like -like Morningstar star ratings or Sharpe ratios amongst funds of this category. So the first thing I think investors should know is that a target return is not a guarantee of return. Cash plus five target will not guarantee a cash plus five outcome. Uh, and in this category, managers have far more flexibility than ever, so it is important to concentrate on fees, manager resourcing, manager skill more, more so than ever. Finally, investors should consider the fact that they have specific risk profiles and therefore they should match their fund to their risk profile. Any advice in this video is general advice prepared by Morningstar without reference to your financial objectives, situation or needs. You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest.